Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little fantastic unboxing for you. Do you remember last month when I was so freaking disappointed? This is how the rough this time squished together. And also, I don't think it is a box, it is the, the makeup pouch again that we get once a year for summer. Which reminds me, I also have some empties. Yeah, in case you're new to Look Fantastic, they usually send out a makeup pouch during well, the summer months, you know, that you can take on vacation with you. And they are very nice, you know, don't get me wrong, but I don't use them. I have a makeup pouch that I take on vacation with me. You know, I haven't been on a vacation in like three years, but I have one that I use and that's still in a perfect condition. So I usually just give these away. So anyways, yeah, this is how it arrived. Let's open up. I mean, it cannot be worse than last month, right? It can't be. Yep. This a pouch and there is no leaflet. This is actually nice though, like see-through. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Oh, a conditioner, Ooh. Um. Also, given the fact I don't have a leaflet, I cannot tell you what this. And obviously I could go to Low Fantastic itself and then look for it, but the way that page is, it's just so frustrating to use. So yeah, this is the only thing that's in there. There are no coupons, thank God. Um, no leaflet, nothing else, just this. Okay, so this is the uh, Paradox. We we are Paradox. Repair 3-in-1 conditioner, hair mask and finishing cream for silk-like softness. 90% plastic free, 99% natural, vegan and cruelty free. What do you mean it's 90% plastic free? So we still have 10% plastic in there? Anyways, this is something that I will use so I can open it up. Ah, oh, yeah, I will see what like an aluminum seal that I will not break open, but I'm excited for this. I can always use that because I'm doing the Coligo method. I don't know if you can actually tell that I'm doing the Coligo method, but yeah, I use a lot of conditioner, much more than shampoo, so this will definitely come in handy, especially because the con uh, conditioner that I use is not that great. Next thing is the, oh, an SPF sunscreen. Yeah, the Bondi Sands Australian Tan Face, a daily moisturizing face SPF 50 plus sunscreen. It is also four hour water resistant. Very high UV protection. Yes, I need 50 plus. Especially like whenever I go on a vacation, that is like a beach vacation, right? Like lay on the beach, do nothing. I always start out with 50 and then I slowly go down. My boyfriend, he actually uses just 15 or 20 and I'm like, how can you do that? So I always turn into Mr. Krabs when I, you know, don't use the correct sunscreen. This is also sealed. God damn it. But yeah, this is for your face only. It is quality free, uh, reef friendly. And yeah, that's it. So super excited for this. Two things that I like so far. Is this is this a twilight zone? What is this? Like this is it's weird, but nice. This is intriguing me because it's wrapped in a very small bubble wrap, but it's still wrapped in. This is so shiny. Look at this. Woo! Siate glue to highlighter. Oh, illuminating powder. God, this is so shiny. I cannot read this. This is vegan and I don't know what the Oh, not for resale. It's not for resale. And I got it in a, a beauty box. <sighs> I have it here. I used it up. Last month we got this one, which is a beauty sample that's also not for resale. I'm contemplating life right now. I'm just gonna open it up. We'll see. I think it's called Stardust, but I'm not sure. I can't I can't read it. I also cannot open it. She, Jesus, come on. There you go, oh my god. Oh, so it looks like the blush that they have. Oh my, I, I seriously cannot get this out. Okay, here it is. It looks exactly like the blush. This will this will really drive me insane. Oh, Oh, super soft. Oh my god. Let me try that. I don't think I have a brush here that will be good for highlighter, but I will make it work. God, I'm just gonna use this one, because I don't have anything else here. So this is actually called Stardust, like I said. Um, I don't have a mirror. Should've brought a mirror. Oh, this is nice. That I should like. Can someone tell me why my nose is so red? Oh, this is a nice highlighter. Ooh. 
really like this. And I feel like it's it's a bit, it's just a tiny bit too dark for my skin. But in summer I can make it work because I probably have a tan, so look at this. Okay, I'm actually liking this box or this pouch so far. This is good. There's a big um, box in here. This is the Skin Chemist Youth Series Rose and Lavender Intense Night Therapy Eye Serum. I love Skin Chemist. They have the, um, the Rose Quartz Lip Oil that I love. What is it with me that I cannot open boxes? Oh, yeah, there's a stick on that I can. Oh! There's a glass bottle. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, that's so fancy. Let's see what it smells like. like nothing. Which I guess it's good. It still smells like nothing. So I will definitely try that out. Um, use it underneath my eye cream. And then we will see. Hopefully it works. Apply in the morning and evening onto clean, dry skin around the eye area. Use the ring finger for the for the lightest pressure. I'm a little like how should I say that? I'm I'm surprised that I like this a lot. Oh god. Okay, wait. Is this? It's made in UK, but this is not English. I think this is Swedish or Danish. No wish on. Grum, grum, grum. I have no idea how to say it. This is what it looks like. Uh, Kla, purifying. Facial cleanser. So this is 100% natural, cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, and uh, free from palm oil. It's made in the UK. Detox and purify and activated charcoal and lemongrass. Oh, I don't like lemongrass. Just something. Like, I love Asian food, but if there's too much lemongrass or ginger or lemon, lime, anything in that range... I love kimchi, for example, but sometimes there's way too much ginger in and I cannot. Like, I force myself to eat it. It's really delicious, but it's just like I cannot have anything that's citrusy. Oh, it's literally just a bar of cleanser. It's straight up lemon. It's straight up. It smells good though. It smells like candy, but it's not my favorite scent. So I will definitely try it out. I love the fact that the whole box is recyclable. Um, there's no plastic, nothing. So, how to use it? Leather with warm water, wash and rinse. Make sure you keep your bar dry when you're not using it. Okay. Then last but not least, which was what the hell is this? this? Is so glittery! Oh my god! I cannot read this. I need my glasses. Which wall of karma? Do good and good will come your way. Soul shimmering body oil. Mm, let's try them all. God, I know how you can see, but there's literally shimmer in. Oh, that smells amazing! It smells like honey. I don't know if you can see a difference. Oh, I can. The thing is, the worst thing is there's literal glitter in. Like, I can count the glitter specks. I feel like at what color right now? Do I like it? Maybe not really. But I will definitely give it a try. Definitely. So, you know what? I like this box. I like the pouch. This is the bed. Have you ever tried any of these? I'm actually super excited. I mean, the body oil is not really my thing, but the rest, the sunscreen, hell yes, I can always use that. The holiday, I think, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the hair mask is always nice. I'm happy about this. This is not that bad. And you know what? I will keep this pouch to put my, my empty products in because I always collect them. This is the, the latest thing that I use up. This is the, was it Mina? Three Ina. I have no idea how to say it. The eye color pen eyeliner in. 575, so it's a brown liner. There's not that much in anymore, but you know, it's... Hold on. There you go. If you go in very hard, you can see it's a brown liner. I love the fact that the tip is so flexible. Can you see how flexible this is? This is so nice to use, so nice. It's very opaque, looks nice, it stays on for a long time. Now the thing is, I use it over the About Face shadow stick and a shimmer shadow, so... You know, over time, I know how well you could see it now, but over time it just soaks up the eyeshadow that's underneath, so we have to clean it. I, I just loved using this. It was so easy to use. The very flexible tip was absolutely worth it. I love that. Then this one here, I didn't do a video on because I don't want to show my feet on the internet. This is the Foot Therapy Foot Mask by Beauty Pro, and it has a removable tip that I didn't want really to use. I just kept it on, on my feet, didn't do anything with it. 
the problem is that so, like usually these foot mats they are wet on the inside and dry on the outside, so you can still work or work one. You can still walk around or you know lay down and nothing gets tacky and sticky. These were just a tiny bit wet, not all over, but it leaked, so it was not that pleasant. But it really made my feet soft. It you know smelled good. You know, like, I mean, it's you know like it's you're not gonna lick it off. Uh, it was very cooling, very refreshing. I liked it. This thing here. You see, Avon, I actually wrote down the Avon lip balm that we got, I think it was last month. Uh, Hyaluronic Cocoa Shea Butter and Tocopherol Argan Oil. I hate the consistency of this because it starts out rather thick and then it turns into oil. It's like like, an, like, a, like a normal cocoa butter, you know what I mean? You know, it's like that's hot too and then, you know, it just one touch and it's nothing. I hate the texture of that. It felt like eating spaghetti aglio olio and you have the residue of oil on your lips. That's what it felt like. Hate it. Don't like it at all. And the smell is okay, but it also disappears very quickly. You know, you put it on, and then like two minutes, three minutes after, it's gone again, and yet you reapply it. I do not like this. I didn't really notice any difference with it. It didn't really moisturize my lips. I do not like it at all. That's just like, that's a me problem. I don't like the consistency of certain things. Like, it needs to feel a certain way. Okay, so then I used up the Verso Hydration Serum with Niacinamide. Um, this is very liquidy. It's, I don't even know what that word, but it's like you unscrew the top and it just comes pouring out. So that was not really nice. Especially like the first time using it, I was like, what the hell is going on here? It smells very fast though, and unfortunately I didn't want to see it. So it's, um, yes, you know, you have a bit more hydration. You know, you have an extra step in your skincare routine. You have to add a serum, but at the end of the day, I didn't want to see it. So it was okay, but I would not purchase it. Now last but not least, the thing that is not for sale that I got in Low Fantastic Box. It's the Avino Common Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer Moisturizer. And I actually will really love this thing. I think it's amazing, it smells good, it, it really moisturizes your skin, it's absolutely beautiful. But the packaging for me is just too big. You know, it's six milliliters, which uh, probably doesn't sound like a lot to you, but you don't need the whole pack in one go. You know what I mean? Like you open it up, you use a bit, and then you have it stay there. And I use it twice a day, and it's still got very crusty and disgusting to use and whenever I, you know, went to use it and, you know, actually like squeezed this out, there was just like dried crusty flakes in my cream. I love it, but not the packaging. Okay, so that was it. That was everything that was in my pouch. Um, unfortunately, I cannot tell you how much any of this is because there are no prices, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have ever tried any of these and subscribe to my channel already, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next one.